So for this video, you can call me Jay Handy. So today what we're gonna do is make a gardening cart for the missus. As you can tell, we have an old desk that we're gonna repurpose. She wants to be able to put her gardening tools in it and be able to move this around the grass in order to do yard work. As you can tell, got some nice monster wheels we're gonna put on this thing. We're gonna soup it up, make a shelf on the bottom so she can put soil, whatever she needs down there. Maybe put a couple shelves so we can put some shovels or some broom or something on the side. That's gonna turn out real nice. So, hope you enjoy. There it is. That's the design I've come up with for the monster gardening cart. So, let's get rolling. Please excuse the unsteadiness. This is the uh, mon monster gardening cart right there. It's a dry fit. The desk, it's upside down. Uh, there's no screws or nails on it. Uh, this little piece of PVC right here. It's going to go screwed to the side of the cabinet like that. That's going to hold the brooms and whatnot. There's a little base, piece of plywood, the desk is going to sit on. Here's the uh, little lip I was talking about, just in case uh, we don't want nothing rolling out or falling out if she moves it around. Came out pretty good. <clears throat> nice and level, the wheels go across, should be the same height. That's the handle, looks like a little towel rack that's not uh, connected yet, as you can see, little pieces, scrap pieces. These pieces here, that's gonna attach the base to the side of the cabinet, the plywood, got the other one on that side. Almost ready to put together. Next video you see, I should be rolling around the yard with it. Okay, YouTube, you've waited. I've worked on it about three days and it's finally ready to be viewed, ready for use too. What is it? Monster Garden Cart. What do you think? This was a desk that you saw at the beginning that was brown drawer to keep her gloves, small gardening tools, seeds, whatever she needs, right in that drawer. A little stuck, sorry about that. As I turn it towards you, nice little handle, it's made. Turn it back the other way, nice and easy to use, maneuver just as easy on the rough grass, rough terrain, it won't tip over. Here's the PVC pipe that I was talking about. Now she has her broom, her shovels. Well, she's not gonna use an ax for gardening, but that's the only thing I could find to put in there. She's got other stuff, she'll find something to put in there. Then we take a look here. At the back side, of course, it's a little high. But the reason for the height is when she goes to put stuff in, she doesn't have to bend so far down to take it out. A little easier. Of course, you see the beautiful monster wheels. This thing is a beaut, let me tell you. It looks black, like black paint, but it's not. What I actually used was a uh, rubber type spray that goes on the roof. So this is gonna give it good durability. Don't have to worry about the wood rotting. Uh, it's gonna be waterproof, which is great. So if she gets caught in a rainstorm, she can leave it outside. Won't have to worry about it. The inside drawer has also been rubberized. I believe that's the correct term for it. Boom. Waterproof. I want to 
take this time out too also to thank everybody so much for viewing my videos. Uh, you, don't, you don't have to subscribe to comment. So if you like something, if you try that not guacamole, it's not guacamole sauce, please leave a comment. Uh, if there's anything uh, that you can help me with, if there's something that you see, maybe uh, the way I do things, the way I hold the camera. I know on the one video it's kind of goofy, but that's all right. I'm getting the hang of it. Uh, I really appreciate everybody's support, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.